going on, everyone? Uh, I think Tiffany is retired or retiring or whatever the fuck because everything she tried to do is backfiring in her face. Uh, all she had to do was say she was Stephanie years ago and none of this would have happened, so... Actually, what she had to do was not hang out with a bunch of dudes. She could have stolen the money. I hung out with a bunch of girls, and I wouldn't give them a shit. The straw that broke the camel's back. The Bra James! Stupid whore. So. Look. She's also super pissed about Asha. No, I'm blocking Asha because she made some stupid friends. And I sent her an email. If she ever responds to that email, we can talk again. She is right, though. It's never going to go back to the way it was because it really can't. Because I was not using her for sex. I was using her to find out who was stalking me. I told her that in the beginning. And she talked to Steph Stephanie, to Tiffany, and she called up. Asking for Bert, trying to find a reason to who's this person hanging out with him. And the main reason why it was Asha was because I thought the person that was stalking me was some old ass Asian motherfucker named Ed. So that would piss off Ed a whole. It would piss it pissed off Tiffany also. Also, this is the other thing. It's a. It's like I don't view it as anything. It's, I, I view it as if I had to be stuck in a jail cell, a prison cell, which is basically what COVID is, I would not mind being stuck in a jail cell with Asha. Asha, Asha takes care of her body, smells good, and all that feminine bullshit. One of the things I found out, it's kind of a little fucked up, why I kind of stopped, and Asha's right, things got, at first, I was like, wow, this is some exotic, crazy-ass shit I've never experienced before. And I found out a little bit about her culture and whatnot. And the thing is, in that culture, oh, it's gonna fall. In that culture, there's like a thing basically where like. It's almost like Baki Bazi for Afghanis, but like, it's almost like they train you to like approach older dudes and like throw it at them because you're an effeminate one and it's a form of apprenticeship. So when I found out about that, I felt really shitty and I was like, you have to get a degree and we'll just keep things casual and whatnot because I felt like I was perpetuating some kind of a cycle basically like that's what it is is like I believe this is what got Alexander the Great to have everyone in Macedon be like he's worshiping the Persian gods because he was doing all of the weird cultural things because in that culture they do have a third gender and just like they basically some of the things around being that it's a little I think it's a little creepy. So I kind of feel bad for some of the experiences Asha had. So I just wanted her, like literally, I made a video about it. How in exchange for her helping me ferret out Tiffany or whoever was stalking me, who I thought was going to be some old motherfucker named Ed. Um, she wanted the boyfriend experience. She had never had a relationship. I met her family, all that bullshit. They, they hate me now and all that bullshit because I wanted Asha to, at the very least, have... She came to... She had a rough growing up. She came to America, went to New Jersey, and got turned into some kind of a weird stripper. And she's never had a normal, regular... What everyone would think is like a normal family experience. So I wanted to at least... Because I'm never going to have that either, but at least now she can have that, right? It was a good illusion. To quote her, lie to me. So I did. Now. How did we even get to that point? 
Okay. I'm not going to go into it all, but since I was 17, I've been on some kind of probation until about 2010, where I had to cut that deal, and then all that bullshit. And when you're in the system, they just keep tabs on you and all that bullshit. So I kind of learned how things work. I forgot what I was going to... Yeah, so like, basically, like, I've been cutting deals with feds since I was 17 years old. Because they were trying to charge me as an adult. So, I, I don't want to give out their names, but like when I was doing my check-in for my thingam upgrade thingamajiggy, they were like reminding me some of the deals I made with them. And I was like, yeah, I know. I'm keeping, I'm keeping my bargains and all that bullshit. So, this is the thing. Tiffany, whoever the fuck Ed is, I'm pretty sure I was so hungover and drunk. I told you about encrypted emails because since Silk Road 2, Middle Earth Marketplace, all the other shit got shut down, we've been scattered to the winds. So, maybe, just maybe, some people in New York at a Bitcoin event might be some of my old customers who I've lost contact with. So, I give you my public key, you give me your public key, oh, let's do business. That's what I was trying to see if you were a customer of mine from back in the day. Whatever the fuck you were doing. Some motherfucker starts sending me encrypted emails and invited me to some weird dinner party in Manhattan. No. Why would I want to go see some old guy at a dinner party in Manhattan? So then I just forget about it. Then... I go to the second Night for Freedom because I wanted to see Stephanie. And what happens, I'm minding my own business and some creepy weirdo dude tries to put the moves on me. Oh, I'm super billionaire for Bitcoin. You're not the only one, you dumb motherfucker. Literally trying to put the moves on me. And I'm pretty sure at that time, I was trying to put the moves on Roaming Chen because she hadn't gotten any of that bullshit yet. And the thing is, like, look, that dumb bitch is jaded from the time she fucked some dude who dumped her or whatever the fuck. So she's all about control, and I wasn't playing her game. So, you know, so I'm pretty sure that's what Teach Me is about. But anyways, because I didn't know where Stephanie was, and I was looking for Stephanie, so I was throwing parties, stupid whore. Then, I brushed that off as, that's just a weirdo. I'm going to just think about it. And, um, and that weirdo does think, I was always contributing to impoverished kids. So it's like perpetuating a cycle of rapey bullshit with these weirdos. Um, then I got invited to New York to some nightclub thingy opening where there was a slide. So I went because Vish invited me. I'm not sure if he meant to. Maybe it was a group text thingy. I don't know. So I went. Everyone made a big deal about me coming. Then someone from Fox News was like, blah, 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 blah. who's he with? And Vish was like, blah, 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 blah. Sertovich crew. And they were like, ah, Sertovich. And I was like, you fuckers do you not know that I've already hacked all your bullshit allegedly. And I know... I don't know. I don't know everything, but I know whatever the fuck club, CIA, mockingbird thingy, budgie you're in, you're trying to like incorporate me into too. No, I just want to make sure that no one is trying to steal my crypto that I got way before any of this bullshit started, which is exactly what Tiffany was trying to do, probably using Ed or whatever the fuck as her strongman or hitman or whatever the fuck, trying to steal my organs at the same time. 
then at that thingy, point blank, some photographer propositions me to make me go viral and make me famous if I go home with them. I refuse. And then someone else goes home with them and goes viral that same year. Uh, this is about 2018, 2019 still. All that bullshit. So I'm assuming that whoever is stalking me is some pervy old fucker with a camera and some kind of a business. Turns out that it's Tiffany. Or somehow Tiffany's involved. And... That probably means Tiffany's gone home with one of these weirdos with the camera to go viral. How else did she get her 2019 Breakout Artist of the Year bullshit? So it's just layers and layers and layers of just crazy-ass bullshit. And I want to remind everyone, before any of this bullshit was going on, I was swiping on Tinder, meeting hot-ass Brazilian bitches, bringing them here, and fucking them. Taking them bowling and fucking them. The best thing about Brazilian bitches is you want to know what a fancy meal is to them? A fancy dinner to them is a Big Mac. I'm telling you, I would be dropping this bitch off and she would be like, I'm hungry. I'm like, all right. You want some McDonald's? Yes. And I would be like, let me get two McDoubles. And she was like, no, I want a Big Mac. No, no, no you get both. The, Mc the McDoubles are for you. I don't want any of the McDoubles. I want a Big Mac, not McDoubles. Okay, can I just get a Big Mac? Just just a sandwich. Just just a sandwich. No no fries and coke. Just a just just a Big Mac. You happy now? You got your Big Mac? Yes. I like the sauce. Right? That was the beauty of it. That was the hookup, the drop off, the Big Mac. This this Korean shit is fucking retarded. It is retarded. Why did you have all these creepy weirdos constantly follow me around and do all these weird things? Like it would have been better if it would have been Ed stalking me because that would have made sense. Some weird, creepy old Asian guy stalking me and throwing all these weird people. Why the fuck have dudes been constantly been trying to like, seriously? It's like I met Tiffany and then dudes have been trying to hook up with me ever since. And Tiffany's the one behind it. I don't want to be in your shitty club. And the thing is, they're all some kind of like, it, it's, it's some kind of a religious thing. Because that thing I was saying about Asha, it's kind of like in Western society, they just don't talk about it. That's why there's all that weird shit with religions and, and priests and choir boys and whatnot. And it's, it's, it's very, look, all I know is that one time when I was like 16 or 17, like my mom would never, ever, ever let me go, uh, uh, like spend the night at someone else's house or basically have any kind of friends. But then these missionaries from Utah got off their mission and came back. And my mom let me like go, like do some like weekend trip with them all around Virginia. And the whole time they were like trying to put the moves on me. And I was like, no, no, I'm just going to go home. I didn't even realize it until I got back that, oh, like, holy shit, that they were trying to put the moves on me and, and flirting with me and all that bullshit because it's some weird thing in religion where, like, that's like a rite of passage and whatnot, okay? So Tiffany's in some club. She's already tried to get me to join the club. After I met her, she liked me so much, she's been protecting me from the club by trying to have all these weird dudes hit on me. You're creepy as fuck, you stupid whore. Do you not understand that? Do you not understand that? Okay? She's, for the past whole year, once I found out it was Tiffany, and I literally shut down all the drag... Like, she... She doesn't comprehend that I don't have apps on my phone and go around trying to, like, do things with people. I'm more likely to download the app, Binary, install it on VirtualBox, fire it up, in a VM and then start like figuring out how it works and who's doing what and where they live and all that shit. So I can sell that information to feds if I need to, but I don't need to anymore. So more than likely I'll just sell that information for money. In the data age, the real gold is information. So she was trying to find some way of having a vice of mine that she could control to get my money since 2017.
since 2017, since 20, since January 20th, 2018, I drunkenly told her, I drunkenly fooled around with her, told her I got into Bitcoin a while ago, and her response was to have some old Asian weirdo invite me to a party and then have a bunch of dudes try to hit on me and make me go viral if I would go do some weird ritual with them because she's in some weird cult. I would much rather just spend some time with Asha, help her get her degree, send her on her way. I'm not going to be crazy with you. Any, I'm not going to do that crazy bullshit you're into. I just wanted to make sure that you're not a victim and go back to doing what I was doing before any of this bullshit started. Because whether you want to believe it or not, the whole thing with Asha was to find out who the fuck was stalking me. And I thought it was going to be some old Asian motherfucker, not Tiffany. It's kind of weirder that it's Tiffany. Why wouldn't you just say you're Stephanie? Why did you do all this? That's why she's retiring.